In 2004, Brandon Mayfield was arrested after the FBI said they found an exact match for his fingerprints that connected him to the 2004 Madrid train bombing. Issue is, Brandon Mayfield was a lawyer based in Oregon. He'd actually never even been to Spain. Not only that, he hadn't even been off the continent in over a decade. Now, I know what you're thinking. How on earth could that be possible? If he's never been to Spain, how would his fingerprints end up there? I know that all fingerprints are unique. Thing is, that isn't exactly true. And I know it's confusing, but people don't realize that the statement, no two fingerprints are alike, isn't one made by scientists. It's one made by statisticians. And that's because there are so many different ways that a fingerprint could form, that the odds that any two of them would form in the exact same way, even with billions of people across the planet, are essentially zero. But importantly, not zero. In fact, Brandon Mayfield wasn't even the only match found. The FBI had found 20 people with similar enough fingerprints to be potential matches to the fingerprints that were actually found at the crime scene itself. This phenomenon is also true for snowflakes, by the way. There's no reason to believe that no two have ever been the same, just the odds are very, very small. Now, I think all of this is really important to keep in mind over the next few weeks for no reason in particular. That just because your fingerprints were found somewhere doesn't necessarily mean that you were there.